Hello. In this tutorial, we'll be going through the various tools used to create interactive content with Cover Page. In this demonstration, I'll be using the How to Make Sushi publication as an example. This is a beautiful and elegant example of the kind of interactive content that you can create with Cover Page. The first tool we'll use is the Gallery tool. Clicking and dragging a gallery window on the page defines where the interactive area will be. Locate files in the Inspector panel by clicking on the Browse Files button. The settings at the bottom of the panel shows that on-page gallery is unchecked, which means it will open as a full screen image when clicked. This is where it's important to have images sized to the largest possible resolution. Seeing an image on a full screen display on the Retina iPad is quite stunning. To see how the gallery works, click the preview button on the upper right side of the workspace. This launches the cover page simulator. The default orientation is vertical or portrait mode but you can right click or control click for a menu where it's possible to rotate the display to landscape mode. On page gallery. Using the same gallery tool, this demonstration will show how to display a set of images exactly where the gallery is drawn. Once the image files are located, more than one image can be grabbed by shift clicking several images and dropping them onto the inspector. This time, the on page gallery is checked in the inspector. Launch the simulator to see the results. Video tool. Cover page video supports both the MP4 and MOV formats using the H.264 codec. Video files are located through the inspector and settings for playback allow for a great deal of flexibility for how the content is displayed. It's important to note that efficiency is important for video content. It's highly recommended that video files should be sized to their display dimensions. In other words, there's no need to upload full resolution 1080i HD video when it's being played back on a 960 by 540 screen. On-page video is a very effective way to integrate video into page designs. Using the video tool, draw a window the same pixel dimensions for the video file you intend to use. Locate the file through the inspector using the Browse for File button and check the on-page video box in Settings. Using autoplay makes the video play once the page is loaded. With autoplay checked, it's unnecessary to have an icon on the video, so uncheck the Add Icon box. If there's music playing in the background, check the Stop Other Sounds box to avoid confusion. Again, we are going to prepare the seasoning that we will be putting on the right. Full Screen Video Using the video tool, draw out a window that fits the design of the page. Since the video will open on a separate page, no frame from the video is displayed. It's not necessary to be precise with the video window. Locate the file through the inspector by clicking the Browse for File button. By default, the settings are for full screen playback and the Add Icon box is checked, meaning that when the video icon is touched, a separate page opens up to play the video. First you want to start out with some hot water. This will be good to put your hands in so the rice doesn't get all glutinous in your... Scroll tool. The scroll tool is an elegant way for long columns of text to be placed in a page that economizes space and lets designers be more flexible with the layout. A simple flick of the finger moves the text in the same way that most mobile devices use. The motion can be constrained to either a vertical or a horizontal direction. There's an elegant bounce effect which returns the column to its original position. Be sure to use PNG files because they support transparency. This creates files that let type appear directly on the page rather than on a white background. In the page editor, the scroll window is lined up with the text box next to it. Since the column of text describing the different types of sushi extends off the page, that column will be interactive. Notice that a small graphic, an up-down visual guide, was added in the page design to direct viewers to the correct interaction with the text.
In this second example, we'll use a JPEG file with a white background. Make sure you draw your zone in the right position so the background won't be visible. Image Sequence Tool This is by far one of the most interesting tools in cover page. It allows for a rapid display of JPEGs by dragging your finger across an image, either horizontally or vertically. Add to that the ability to use the iPad's accelerometer to move through the image sequence, and this opens the door to a wide range of creative uses. Here, I want to have a nice full screen image sequence. First, I draw the interactive zone, drag the pictures which go in there one by one, and use settings to check Use Accelerometer. Here's the timeline with the frames, and here we go. The accelerometer connects the hardware and the software, and this is the end result. Using HTML and cover page. Here I have some animated text. I prepared my animations beforehand. We'll talk about how to prepare simple animations yourself in an upcoming tutorial. For now, I'll draw an interactive zone which has to match the dimensions of an animation I prepared. Otherwise, it would be floating somewhere on the page or scrolling in a smaller zone. It's best to write it directly to the inspector panel. Make sure you include the folder with all of the assets, not just the HTML files. I cut my animation in three smaller pieces, which makes the size of my animation a lot smaller. If I prepared as one animation altogether, I would have had a huge bitmap instead of three small ones. This helps improve playback performance. Another way to use the web view tool in cover page is to create a voting form. Prepare your form on a web server and get the code. Add it to your project using the web view tool. You can also use the web view tool for adding social network news feeds from Twitter and Facebook. Draw the interactive zone and add the code as you did in the previous example. Here you can see a live Facebook news feed about how to make sushi. You will learn how and where to get those HTML scripts in another video.